African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the Special Military Operation on the 14th of April, 2023. The Armed Forces of the Russian Federation continue the Special Military Operation. In Kupansk direction, aviation and artillery of the Zapad Group of Forces have engaged the units of the Armed Forces of Ukraine close Stelmakovka, Lugansk People's Republic, Ivanovka, and Dviregnoi, Kharkov region. Moreover, actions of five sabotage and reconnaissance groups of the armed forces of Ukraine were disrupted close to Alshana, Krakomalnoi, and Timkovka, Kharkov region. The enemy's losses in this direction during the day amounted to up to 60 Ukrainian troops, two armored fighting vehicles, three motor vehicles, and two D-20 howitzers. In Krasny Lyman direction, operational tactical army aviation, artillery, and heavy flamethrower systems of the center group of forces have inflicted a fire damage on enemy units close to Serebryanka, Donetsk People's Republic, Chernopopovka, and Chervanaya Dibrova, Lugansk People's Republic. Total enemy losses in this direction amounted to up to 80 Ukrainian servicemen, two armored fighting vehicles, and one D-30 howitzer. In Donetsk direction, the Wagner assault groups continue intensive fighting to occupy the western quarters of Artyomovsk. Airborne troops support the assault units on the flanks by preventing the enemy from transferring ammunition and reinforcement to the city. Over the past 24 hours, Russian aircraft made 14 sorties close to Artyomovsk and the missile troops and artillery carried out 62 firing missions to support the group's actions. The enemy's losses amounted to up to 240 Ukrainian troops, two tanks, five armored fighting vehicles, four motor vehicles, one Grad MLRS vehicle, as well as D-20 and D-30 howitzers over the past day in this direction. In South Donetsk and Zaporizhzhia directions, operational tactical and army aviation and artillery of the Vostok group of forces inflicted a fire damage on the armed forces of Ukraine units close to Ugladar, Donetsk People's Republic, Marfopol, Zaleznyknoi, Novo Andreevka, and Kamenskoy, Zaporizhzhia region. Over the past 24 hours, up to 40 Ukrainian troops, two armored fighting vehicles, and one Stabi howitzer have been neutralized in these directions. Moreover, an ammunition depot of the Ukrainian troops was obliterated close to Chervanaya Dibrova. In Kherson direction, up to 35 Ukrainian troops, six motor vehicles, one Grad MLRS vehicle, and one Akatsiya self-propelled howitzers during the day. Operational tactical aviation, missile troops, and artillery of the armed forces of the Russian Federation have engaged 93 armed forces of Ukraine artillery units at their firing positions, enemies' manpower and hardware in 136 areas during the day. The Air Defense Forces downed six Amars MLRS projectiles during the day. In addition, six Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles were destroyed in the areas of Tambovka, Zaporizhzhia region, Velike Lepatika, and Maslavka, Kherson region. In total, 407 airplanes and 228 helicopters, 3,753 unmanned aerial vehicles, 415 anti-aircraft missile systems, 8,672 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 1,084 combat vehicles equipped with multiple launch rocket systems, 4,584 field artillery cannons and mortars, as well as 9,504 units of special military hardware have been destroyed during the special military operation. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.